Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome to our YouTube family member. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Please click the bell to receive notifications on my upcoming videos. Please click the share button to share this video with everyone you know. Please click the thumbs up button to like this video. If there's anything you'd like us to be praying for you about on the channel, please comment that. Or if any of your prayers have been answered on this channel, please comment that. Or if you'd like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please comment that. Or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please comment that. Or if anything the Holy Spirit is telling you that needs to be said on this channel, go ahead and comment those in the comment section and we'll do our next videos based upon the comments in the order they're received. We are currently at 50 subscribers, 1,000 are required, and 68 public watch hours and 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know that is struggling financially once we're able to get monetized. I want to thank you for supporting me on this channel, in this journey, and in this calling. Let's go ahead and get started into prayer by bowing our heads and closing our eyes. Thank you. Come Lord Jesus, we just invite you into this video right now to speak through me everything you want us to hear today. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, and a spiritual heart open and able to receive today. And we just pray that you give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read and how to apply it today. As we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, and sword of the Spirit. Guard and protect us as we travel today, those around us, the animals as well. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, or speaking encouraging words to, or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you send down our guardian angels to protect us today, and we thank you for that. And we pray that you send down our Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. And we plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. And we pray that you take away the distractions away from us so we can focus on you today. And we pray that against any attacks of the enemy over any people listening today and over this video and this channel and our loved ones. We pray for favor over this video, this channel, and our loved ones and us today. And we pray that you show our, us mercy and our leaders mercy. And help our leaders and us to make godly choices and give us godly divine wisdom and knowledge to make the right choices today. And we pray that you heal our land we thank you for that, Lord. And um, we pray that you forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who've sinned against us. If there's anyone listening today that has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, we pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe it in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, it's not by works so that no man shall boast, but it's only by the free gift of grace. That's Jesus dying um, and rising again on the cross as the perfect sinless life that we're able to go to heaven. And so we thank you, Lord, for this person accepting you as their Lord and Savior. And they can know that they'll go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. And we pray that you help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. Help them to hear your still small voice and obey what you command them to do. And we pray that you show them the gifts and talents you've given them. How to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. We thank you for this person and everyone listening today. Help them in any areas of weakness or struggles and help them to be victorious. And we thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. 
we are going to be talking about what the Lord has to say about Exodus chapter 14. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn them to Exodus chapter 14 and we'll get started. Thank you. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they turn and encamp before Piahaharoth, between Megdol and the sea, over against Baal Zephon, before it shall ye encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, that ye shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord, and they did so. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we let, have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Egypt, and captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with an high land. But the Egyptians pursued after them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them encamping by the sea, beside Pihirath, before Baal Siphon. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and, behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us, to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold... I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass, 
that in the morning watch the Lord looked up to the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come up again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about Exodus chapter 14. And until next time, bye!